As you get into the second stage of your, of your life as an actor, do you, can you relate to all the things that people say that roles dry up for people who get older, men and women, specifically women? Can you, I mean, you're clearly getting work, but do you see a change as you get older in the business? I've just been incredibly fortunate, and I think um, people are, there is a shift of awareness that, that people are interested in stories about people who are over, you know, the age of 12. <laughs> you know, and I think Sandra Bullock, you know, drove that point home mm -hmm. a couple years ago with Blindside and the proposal and, you know, and Meryl Streep and all kinds of people have, have proven um, that there are still stories to tell and that a woman over 40 is viable in all kinds of arenas. Do you know when you're on a show like The L Word that its impact is really going to be felt separate from the fact that it's a TV show? I had always hoped that it would, even when we first started. And I think sometimes that would make Eileen Chaikin, the show's creator, uncomfortable because it is such a crapshoot whether or not a show um, is allowed to continue. But, you know, my feeling was even if we only went for a few episodes or one season, that if we could address the needs of one young woman in some town somewhere who did not have access to her community as a lesbian, um, that I would be happy and that the show would have performed a service. And, and the fact that we got to stay on for six years and give a whole group of people who were heretofore invisible in pop culture a place in pop culture, however imperfect, was um, incredibly gratifying.